sweet time to actually get out of here but I think it's because I'm nervous we do have the diaper bag ready I mean the diaper bag my hospital bag ready and I'm gonna just leave in this robe because at this point I don't care but stay tuned guys because I'm nervous all right guys so my water did break and I feel like I'm nervous now I have the bag ready I'm just adding like um, the little things that I'm missing my phone charger my camera um, things for like the restroom just adding those things that I did not add in before but everything else is ready however I'm thinking this is gonna be the last day with my baby girl you guys can see I'm currently in two days I'll be 38 weeks so I told you guys I had a feeling she was gonna be coming sooner uh, but I'm excited I'm telling you guys I'm nervous you wish me luck because I'm low-key very nervous now I feel like it's getting real Hey guys, so it is, what time is it, Richard? It's 6 in the morning. I got to the hospital at 1.30 and um, they didn't admit me until I think it was like almost 3 because they first take you to the triage and they make sure that you know you're um, able to stay. By the way, if I sound or look Drowsy. They just gave me pain medication, so I feel like I'm really disoriented. Um, but I just wanted to update you guys that I was admitted. Um, they had to admit me, and I'm saying that because my water broke. Even downstairs when I was checking in, they let me know that I would be staying, being that my water had broken. Um, but they still have to check on the baby and turn the camera that way. If you guys see, they're monitoring um, my contractions as well as the baby's heartbeat. So that's what they do in triage. Um, while I was in triage, they didn't let my boyfriend come into the floor with me. So they said that it's not until you're admitted that they allow them to come in because of COVID. So during that time, so as I was saying, uh, in triage, they don't let anyone come in with you until you're actually going to go into your room. So after like an hour and a half, like I said, around three in the morning was when they actually gave us the room and they called him over and, you know, we walked over here. I'm not going to lie, guys, the past two hours have sucked because I've been getting my contractions. They gave me, what is it called, Pitocin um, to help the contractions come in a little faster. And believe me when I say those started, like it started kicking in and... I honestly was feeling really bad. I've been trying to sleep and I couldn't because of it. And like I said, I did ask for the pain medication, not epidural, but just pain medication to help, you know, ease the pain of the contractions because I started getting them very frequently, but like, um, sorry, strong. And honestly, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't in pain because I really am, but you know, I'm very excited to, you know, be meeting our baby girl but I don't I'm like not having it right now um so I just wanted to update you guys and like I said I know I look crazy but at this point I do not care <laughs> um and I'm excited guys I'm just in a lot of pain although right now I feel like because she gave me that medicine I'm feeling a little more calm but I also feel really disoriented as I said like I'm trying not to look at the camera so much because I feel like I look at you guys, but I, my eyes are like going in different places. Uh, but I'm excited overall and I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I really do feel scared now. Not for the birth, but for the pain because I already, I'm, 
only one centimeter dilated and I'm crying. I'm not crying about it. I haven't cried surprisingly, but it hurts. Like it really does hurt. And I'm scared it's gonna hurt even more and I know it is, but that's where I'm at. And I'll tune you guys in later. <laughs> Sarah, do we have a pediatrician? Lee. Okay. Miss Lee? Yeah. Come around me. There we go. 
What happened? I'm on my daddy. Okay, daddy's with me right now. The grandma see her, mama. Look at her, look at her. She's not crying no more. You see her, Aubrey? Nathan. Did you? Nathan put his whole ass face in that. That's good, baby. But she's tiny. She's tiny, okay?